Hello guys, it's time! Banner, banner review. Now, do I have to say much about this banner? I'm pretty sure all of you guys are pulling on already. I've made a lot of videos hyping up this event, so... Whoa! Yo, Kimo, is it worth pulling on this banner, man? I don't know. I, I don't know if I want an ultra-rare Yamato-class battleship, man. You got to... You got to convince me why I want to have... Why I want to pull on this banner. Alright, alright. I got you guys. I got you guys. Alright. Is it worth pulling for Violet Tempest Blooming Licorice Banner? The Musashi Banner. Is it worth pulling for? Let's find out, guys. Let's find out. Right, let's get right into this uh, review because it's probably going to be a long one. Uh, pull up the screen stuff. Right, guys. Five ships. Let's go ahead and talk about each and every one of these ships and how good they are. Starting with, that's right. It's the banner girl. It's the one that everyone is looking forward to, Musashi. Now Musashi, in terms of stats, at 120, 10,860 health, 473 firepower, 230 anti-air, 154 reload, 36 evasion, heavy armored, 26 speed, 72 hit, 33 luck, and 17 oil so she is a big big girl big girl very tanky about a thousand or so health higher than most of the battleships in this game i think even um in terms of iron blood fdg she has more um health than her so let's find out yeah by a thousand easily has a thousand more hp than the former beefiest ship in the game fdg <laughs> so there there <laughs> If you want to outclass FDG some more, there you go. You have Musashi available in the game as of right now. So, insanely, insanely high health. The highest health pool in this game. Probably say the highest firepower as well, too. Let me just go ahead and double check. I think uh, FDG may be up there as well, too. Never mind. I lied. 473 firepower at level 120. That is ridiculous. Highest health in the game. Highest firepower in the game. Yeah, this ship is disgusting, guys. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. The only downfall about this ship is that her reload is very slow. Uh, most of the gacha you are um, battleships as of right now in the game have about 170, give or take, around there. So she's about 15 to 20 less reload than most of them in the game. Not to mention, uh, that she, she does get a reload buff, but it's not that much. You're going to need more than 10%, which I'll talk about later on, but... In terms of raw damage though and tankiness, definitely can't be outclassed there. She's in a class of her own. Disgusting, disgusting ship. So stat-wise, I don't have to talk much about it. Off the charts. Off the freaking charts, man. Now efficiency. Right, 155% on the battleship gun. It is high. 155 is very, very high. If you guys don't know already... Let's pull up the other ships here. Where is uh, Iowa class battleship? New Jersey and FDG. Let's talk about these. Boom, here we go. 150% on New Jersey. 160% on FDG. Musashi sitting at 155. That is very, very good. That is really high. Really, really high. Light cruiser and DD guns. 220% also high as well too. But this is negligible unless you want to do like a solo BB thing. But it's whatever. Good for lasering. If, they, if uh, you're doing PvP and like... Hey, let's push it to the vanguard. Boom. And you just get lasered by 220% efficiency by light cruiser guns. That's funny. And 100% anti-air. Again, Musashi doesn't have the highest anti-air. Low anti-air stats and low anti-air on the efficiency. So what can you do about it? It's just raw, raw damage, right? Can't talk much about that. Uh, uh, one firepower at 120. Always nice to have. Always nice to have. So right off the bat. Really, really good ship. Tanky, does a lot of damage. Low anti-air and slow reload, but hey, you can't win in everything, right guys? You can't win in everything. Now, the fun part. Let's talk about the skills. Violet Lightning Storm. When this ship fires her main guns, 100% chance to fire a level 10 special barrage, which is based on the skills level. If this ship has a Sakura Empire main gun equipped, this barrage is improved. So what this uh, improvement does is not only does it increase damage for the barrage, it also, the special barrage has 50% increased uh, crit rate, which is a lot. And a lightning bolt from this barrage inflicts a special armor break uh, ailment to enemies hit by it, increasing their damage taken by 5% for 8 seconds. If the enemy is heavy armor, it is 10% instead. So a debuff, 
high crit rate, a lot of damage. Can't go wrong with that, right? Can't go wrong with that. So, I did some testing with the barrage. It is a very strong barrage. It has two impacts. The first initial impact, which is the uh, the waves, the lightning storm. You're going to see like a giant shock wave, like a Getsuga Tensho from uh, Ichigo Bleach. So, you're going to see one of those. Once it hits, there's also going to be an AoE splash damage after about a second later. That one hits way harder compared to the shockwave itself. So let's say you do about 5,000 shockwave. The secondary explosion does like 8,000, 9,000. It, it hits really, really hard. So yeah, that, that is a really, really disgusting, disgusting um, um, barrage coming out of her. So I can tell you right now. Raw damage alone is a lot. BB gun efficiency a lot. The barrage itself is crazy, guys. It is utterly, utterly crazy. This is this is a juicy, juicy barrage right here, guys. Now, I haven't tried her in the off-fleet position, but I know for a fact a lot of people use her as flagship for obvious, obvious reasons. It's, it's pretty consistent in terms of accuracy. I'm not sure how it is in bossing yet. I got to test that later on. But mob clearing, it's okay. You're going to miss some things, but it's okay. Um... Bossing, I think it's I think it's fine for bossing. Honestly, there, there are fast targets nowadays, but I think it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna have to test that out tomorrow, though, so or tonight. We're gonna find out then. But the broad does a lot, and in terms of consistency, is 100% proc rate. It's pretty. It's pretty. Gonna, it's pretty much gonna hit. It's pretty fast. So good debuff, good damage. What else do I gotta say? Right, it's a really, really good damaging ship. The secondary skill. Tempestos, wait, Tempestosis, Os, Os, okay, Tempestos Blade. Wow, that was hard to pronounce. Increases this ship's firepower by 20%, accuracy by 5%. If this ship has a Sakura Empire gear equipped, increase this ship's reload by 10% and main uh, gun crit damage by 15%. So, you're pretty much gonna you have to use an IJN gear here because not only do you need it for the first part of the skill, you need it for the secondary part of the skill as well too. You can't say no to 15% crit damage. It's a lot. So and the reload, she needs it. So you pretty much have to use an IJN gear. Now here's the thing: it doesn't have to be an IJN main gun. It could be any IJN gear, but you want the barrage damage, so you might as well just use the uh, I, IJN main gun to get not only the buff for the first part but the buff for the second part. So IJN gun is really, really important for both these skills. So 20% firepower is a lot. It is very, very good. I think it's like one of the higher ones up there. Uh, there obviously are better ones like How's, How has like 24%, I think. Venito also has a decent amount. New Jersey has like 25%. But she has a lot of raw firepower, right? And 20% is no uh, things to scoff at. Not to mention she gets crit damage as well too, which is a lot compared... Combined with her 50% crit rate on the barrage, it is very, very good. So, even though it's not the highest um, self-buffing ship, it is still very, very good. 5% accuracy is always nice. The 10% reload is very, very important because she has a very slow reload time. And a lot of the IJN guns in this game are pretty slow that are good. So, including the Yamato-class battleship gun. That is very, very slow. So, you need a 10% reload. You, you really, really need it. And the main uh, uh, gun crit damage by 15%. Crit damage is always welcome. Can't say no to it. It's a good buff. Now the third skill. Musashi's Guardian Ship. When the battle start, if this ship is not your flagship or your air space control st or, or your air space control status is not air uh, um, incapability or air denial, reduces the ship's damage taken by 30% in battle. So... If for some reason you want to have some other flagship and you want to put her on the off section, then she's going to be even more durable. Now, I personally wouldn't put her in that uh, opposite or uh, the other area, but if you want to, go for it. I think the only reason I can think of where you don't want Musashi as a flagship is if you're using like New Jersey and you want her to get the Plymouth buff for some reason. But... I'll talk about it later. I'm pretty sure Musashi does more damage to New Jersey as of right now. So, until then, um, if you want to use her for on an off fle uh, off flagship position, go for it. She gets a damage reduction up to thirty percent, which is really really nice. The second part of skill: if this ship is afloat, when a ship or when a fleet, uh, this ship is not is not in enters a battle. So like another fleet. 
fires a 10 uh, level 10 supporting barrage 15 and 35 seconds after the battle starts based on a skills level. So I haven't tested this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's the shock wave. It's the shock wave that she does. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's that's gonna be really good. 15 and 35 uh, 35 seconds. That's really really good. So the only way I could think about it is if you're doing like OS content. Or I guess it, this could also apply to like campaign as well too. When you're doing like bossing runs, you have Musashi as a boss ship, and then in mob content she just throws out her lightning blade and she just wave clears everything for you. That's really really good, especially in OS because OS has many many battles. It is so good there, so so good. 15 35 seconds. You probably wouldn't make it to 35 second mark, but the first 15 seconds is really really good. So I like it a lot. This is a really really good skill. Two barrages in one battle up to is really good and lastly for non exercise only when this ship is above 40 percent health grants the musashi's guardianship status to other main fleet ships ships with this status no longer take ramming damage forces musashi to become uh, detected as well as well if they become detected causes musashi to be prioritized by enemy attacks if they are both valid targets so this is very, very good for campaign because if you're running Musashi as a bossing ship, um, then she basically becomes the tank. And this is really good for some scenarios in campaign. I can think of one map in chapter 10, I think it's like 10-1, I think, where you have a long, su a long chain of suicide bombers coming in, hitting your flagship. Not only is Musashi's barrage really good at dealing with that because it's one straight line with a lot of damage, she can also tank it now because if they're all coming for your uh, coming for your back line, she takes aggro and then she takes all the um, suicide bomber damage. And it's because she's heavy armor, very durable. Okay, nice. I I just take no damage, <laughs> no damage. Right? It's so so good, so so good. In World Fourteen. There's so many suicide bombers. There's so much ramming damage in World 14 that you toss Musashi uh, as the flagship. She just takes all the damage, and you're pretty much good to go. So if you're running like something like Musashi, Perseus, Unicorn, or something that's like really squishy or Aquila, you don't have to worry about resetting as much because Musashi's gonna take all the aggro from the suicide bombers and the ramming boats. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. This is definitely a uh, a welcoming to uh, World 14 players because this skill right here pretty much makes World 14 a lot easier if you're running Musashi. If you're running two Musashis, that's kind of ridiculous, but you can definitely do that for World 14 cheese and make it even easier. You put Musashi in the mob fleet and Musashi in the boss fleet, and you just have not only you have two barrages on both sides. That's kind of ridiculous. You have the damage reduction and the aggro. It is so good. So, so good. Um, if there's one ship I would highly recommend getting two of, it is definitely Musashi. If you want a cheese campaign, double Musashi is definitely a good option. If you want to play that way and want to run double Musashi, it is definitely a valid option if you want to do World 14 the easy way. <laughs> I, I got to say, if you want to do World 14 the easy way, Musashi in the mob fleet, Musashi in the boss fleet, it should be so, so easy if you have that set up. So that is a th another way to play. So that's Musashi's gear. In terms of what I liked, it is an overall really good ship. I have nothing else to say. It is solid across the board everywhere. It's so, so good. I'll talk more about it later on, but she could fit into most composition. A definitely good boss. They're good for... Good for some scenarios of mobbing as well too. There are better mobbers out there, but she's so durable. She does a lot of damage. It's hard to say no to her, especially what she brings to the team, especially in harder contests with this um, Musashi's guardianship buff and the um, and the barrage that she does is so good, so so good. So can't say no to this ship, man. It's, she's so she's so good. <laughs> can't say no to more about this ship. We'll come back to her later though. Next ship on the list, Sakawa. The I believe this is um, a Ganon's class ship, but this is, um, what's her face? No Shiro's sister. Yeah, No Shiro. So, I don't think she's drawn by Atten, unfortunate. Uh, I think Atten should drew her, but hey, whatever, right? Uh, 337, uh, 3,374 health at 120, 120 firepower, 377 torpedo, 
334 anti-air, 179 reload, 130 evasion, light armor, 35 speed, 175 accuracy or hit, 74 luck, 101 anti-submarine, and 11 oil. So good on some pretty good torpedoes across the board pretty average it's about the same stats that you would see from like uh no shiro as well too I, I believe their stats are really identical yeah they are pretty much identical across the board nothing like super crazy out there everything is like as close as they can get in terms of no shiro and her sister so this is about average i believe the efficiency are average as well or same as well too 25 125 175 and 110 across the board same as no shiro same as no shiro but let's see what she can do because no shiro was pretty much known to be a torpedo buffer for a while in the game like about two years ago i think like she had a way to buff um increase uh uh she ships delt or whatever no where is that increase torpedo of your vanguard by 20 percent. this right here and also increases Vanguard crit rate by tw uh, one, uh, 12 percent as well. Let's see, this is the buffer that everyone used her for. So good, torpedo buff, so good. Now Sakawa, increased ship's torpedo by 20 percent. Very good. Once per battle, when the ship takes damage totaling more than 5 percent of her max HP from one hit, deploys a shield around the ship that can negate up to 10 percent of the ship's max HP in damage. If this shield is destroyed, increase the ship's evasion and damage dealt by 15% until the battle ends. That is a very good kit. Very, very good kit. So, I think one thing you can do, if you want to, well, that's not really a thing you can do. I, I was going to say like a cheese, but I would skip it. Why is there a loud noise outside right now? Anyways, though, um, I like this kit. You get a shield if you take damage, and it's a really big shield, 10% for max HP, which is like, no, well, not big, but like 300 or so, which is nice. You also get evasion and damage dealt by 15% until end of the battle if that shield is also destroyed too. So that is really good. I like that skill. Keeping you on your toes with the little um, music note right there. How cute. Adaptive blade work. Decrease this ship's torpedo damage taken by 20%. When the battle starts every 20 seconds, one, once per battle, if this ship loses 20, uh, HP is, wait, if this ship's HP is below 25%, restores 10% of this ship's max HP. Good. If this ship's um, HP is above 25%, fires a level 10 special barrage. Damage is based on this uh, ship's uh, this this ugh. damage is based on skills level. Increase this ship's uh, crit rate by 15% for 15 seconds. If this ship has sunk three or more enemies um, in battle, decrease the ship's damage taken by 20% for 15 seconds. So she has so many ways of damage reduction. She has a shield for her first skill. 20% uh, damage reduction from tw uh, torpedoes and maybe another 20% as well too from just total damage if this ship has sunk three enemies or more so if you can start a, if you can start a battle and just blow up three enemies with torpedoes you just get instantly a 20% damage reduction for the rest of the game so let me go ahead and double check and I might have the oh, wrong place but uh, I may have the barrage available let's go ahead and double check um of this uh ship but i don't i i don't mind it though i think sakawa is pretty decent it, obviously um nowadays noshiro isn't used as often so it's kind of whatever like the, i think the barrage is this one the all-out assault is that i'm pretty sure let me see so this is um that's the all-out assault this is the barrage right that's actually a pretty good barrage i'm not gonna lie a lot of torpedoes coming out too that's actually really solid so it's she's a she's in a weird spot. I honestly don't think she's a bad ship, but she's just in a weird spot. Like I'm trying to think of a, a, like a way to use her. Like you can use her in just pretty much any mob fleets easily because she offers uh, a shield. She has a lot of damage reduction. Has pretty decent torpedo damage as well too. I don't think she's a bad ship. I think it, it's just difficult to like find a place for her. With, with how many light cruisers and damage dealers and vanguards we have nowadays, it's just very hard to find a place for the user. But I like her kit, though. It, it By no means is her kit bad. It's just very hard to find a spot for her as of right now in terms of if you lack something, then she's good. If you don't lack something, she's like, whatever. But again, Musashi's event bringing in a lot of new players. I definitely see if you are a new player, she's definitely a very good vanguard ship by far. Um... 
you're probably not going to get a, a better light cruiser for a very long time if you have Sakawa already. So, if you're a new player, she is definitely, definitely a good ship. If you're like a, um, a veteran player, she's like kind of whatever. But I don't think she's that bad though. But she's really good if you're a new player. Very good ship. Will get you very far as a Vanguard solo. Easily. Very, very far. So, I don't mind the ship. I think she's really good. Now, Waka, Waka Suki, I call her Waka Taka yesterday, my bad, <laughs> but Waka Suki, uh, Destroyer, oh my god, Destroyer, can't wait for Kimo to trash talk her, yeah, 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 we'll see, uh, 122,538 health, 85 firepower, 390 torpedoes, 197 anti-air, 218 reload, 225 evasion, light armor, 39 speed, 201 um, accuracy, 48 luck, 210 anti or 212 anti sub, and 10 oil. So across the board right now, I'm seeing anything like spectacular. Her torpedo, torpedo stats are very low, and as well as her firepower, so it's like kind of whatever. Uh, efficiency: 110 percent on DD guns, 135 percent on torp on torpedoes, and 145 on anti, which is kind of weird. She has a high anti air. Efficiency compared to everything else, but her interior herself is like not that great. It's like 197, so it's like whatever. Uh, one firepower for destroyers at 120, always nice to have. But I prefer torpedoes. Shallow swords dance. Ooh, this sounds great. Every 10 seconds increases the ship's firepower anti air by 5%. Fires a level 10 special barrage that penetrates enemy shield based on skills level, firepower, and um. Firepower and anti-air buff can stack up to three times. All right, so every 10 seconds, so up to 30 seconds, you'll have 30% more firepower and 30% more anti, or 30% uh, firepower and 15% anti-air. So that is interesting for 30 up to 30 seconds. Increase the ship's total, um, increase the ship's damage dealt to enemies by hit by this barrage slash attacks um, by 10%, and decrease the ship's cannon and torpedo damage taken by from enemies by 10%. So, a little bit of a damage reduction. Increase. Wait, hold up. Increases ship's damage dealt. Oh, just this ship. Never mind. I was going to say she has a nice, like, 10% uh, debuff to enemies, but it's just for herself, which is, like, whatever. I think for the most part, it is just a Vanguard ship, mobbing ship. 30 seconds. Can't go wrong with that. But I think her stats are kind of wild, though. I think she's, like, a, bur I think she's like a hybrid, like a half torpedo wear, half firepower. A little bit mix of both. Uh, do we have pictures of that barrage? Let's find out. Wakasuki. So let me go down here. So I believe that's the barrage. It's kind of like a... um. Where have I seen this barrage before? Someone had this barrage. I forgot who it was. I think it's like a Marco Polo barrage. And then that's her all out soul. So it's like a Marco Polo barrage. But it's kind of nice. There's some slashes as well too. Which is really cool. So definitely a wave clean, uh, wave clean ship for sure. And... Imperturable, whoa, that's a word. Imperturable heart. When the battle starts, increase the ship's anti-air, uh, anti-air, anti-sub warfare by fifteen percent. Grant the ships a special level ten ASW weapon. Damage based on skills level. Every fifteen seconds, performs a sonar scan that renders enemy SS detected by for eight seconds. When started with a Akizuki class DD, increase the ship's evasion by fifteen percent once per battle. When a ship in your vanguard falls, falls below thirty percent. Um, HP as a result of damage taken. This ship evades all attacks for two seconds and gains a shield that can block up to six percent of Wakasuki's max HP and damage. So we have all these gimmicks nowadays where like if a ship falls below X amount of health, it gets healed or whatever. You can pretty much run a full fleet of that nowadays. I feel you just just toss in all the if a ship falls below a certain HP, you heal or something, right? So oh, I knew I knew she was familiar. Su uh, Suzuki. These two together, it's going to be really, really good. So, if you can run Suzuki and Wakasuki together, World 14 is going to be really, really easy. Not to mention, world like there's like so many ships out there for, for world, uh, for, uh, world 14. Suzuki, Suzuki and Wazuki, or Wakasuki, oh my god, man. I can definitely see this, uh, this duo being really, really good. Because Suzuki is already a beast of a DD. I think she's like one of the early entries of being a really good DD in the game. Along with Tosh Kent, so... Her herself is really, really good. She's like a um, two-year, three-year old ship, but still really, really good. Wakasuki, combined with her, dude, definitely a really good pairing. Definitely a really good pairing. So, 
The barrage is nice. They both have really good wave clear. I think they both share the same barrage as well, too. I think Suzuki and Wakasuki have the same barrage, as well as Marco Polo, but I think they have the same barrage. So this duo right here, if you somehow have this, I don't know if she's a permanent ship or whatever. No, she's Dreamwaker's Butterfly, which just passed, so unfortunate. Um, if you could pair these two together, though, World 14 is so easy. Even then, like, you can pretty much use these duo in, like, pretty much everywhere. Even, like, 13 and 12, I believe, but it's going to be a little bit difficult. But you can definitely use these two pretty much everywhere for, like, campaign clearing. It's going to be really, really good. They have so much torpedo, wave clearing, mirages. These duo, these two duos together, really good. It has pretty good sustain as well, too. So I could definitely see that being really helpful for most players that are struggling with campaign or whatever. Now, Hagura and Miyuki, I don't want to talk too much about them. Again, they're elite ships. I'm, I'm an elite. I'm an elitist, actual elitist. I I just don't think these ships are like amazing. Like heavy cruiser, four thousand six hundred help. I mean, she looks cool. Don't my all means Hagar looks cool, and she griefed me one hundred sixty five cubes or one hundred sixty five pulls. I'm not gonna talk about that, but increased ships damage out to DD's light cruisers. Um, this is her damage by fifteen percent. It's kind of whatever though. Uh, every fifteen seconds, uh, seventy five percent chance to fire a level. A level 10 special barrage based on skills level. If this ship uh, fails, it stores 3% max HP. It's whatever. When this ship hits a, an enemy with a torpedo, it increases the ship's evasion by 10%, which is nice, for 10 seconds. Oh, that's really good, actually. When your uh, Vanguard ship takes damage total 10 times, it decreases this, uh, this ship's luck by 5 and damage taken by, for your Vanguard by 10% for end of the battle. That's actually really solid. Um, I personally want to use her as a front tank because there's better options out there. But if you guys are lacking options, as a new player, this skill can get you pretty far. The damage reduction for your vanguards, if you get hit 10 times, is really nice. But the issue as a new player is a lot of the time you guys are lacking sustain. Because like you guys don't have a Perseus or a Unicorn set up properly, probably. So the sustain part is the, is the tricky part. And if you're taking hits 10 times, you may be like a quarter health missing or something. So it's very scary. But if you have sustain then this skill is actually really good. It'll keep you alive as a new player. So I think this skill is actually pretty good. I like this skill for an elite. Not bad. So good for new players. Everyone else does like whatever. Miyuki. Um, stats. Well, actually, that's actually high. That's actually not bad torpedoes. 509 torpedoes. That's actually not that bad. Um, everything else still is like whatever. 160% efficiency on torpedoes. Not bad. She had torpedo where let's find out. Uh, when a ship in your vanguard rams into an enemy, uh, in your vanguard rams into an enemy, decrease the ship's taking by 25%, increase your vanguard's firepower and accuracy by 10% for 10 seconds. Does not stack with repeated activations. When the battle starts, every 10 seconds of this ship and vanguard ship uh, adjacent to her take 6 damage. Huh? Okay, 6 damage. <laughs> uh, there, for 3 seconds, their evasion is increased by 10%. Interesting value. I think that there has to be some history lore to that. Six damage, but that's actually not bad. 10% evasion, uh, damage reduction. Not bad. Every 20 seconds, 30% chance to evade for the ship to evade all enemy attacks for six seconds. So, okay, six seconds. There's always six, dude. Okay, so I feel because Eldritch can do pretty much the same thing, right? There may, there may come a time where... You may need this skill. Maybe they, maybe one day Manju as a really, really difficult boss where you can only survive if you have Miyuki for her to, to have her uh, evade all damage for six seconds. I guess Eldritch counts too, but like this could also be beneficial to have as well too. So like an Eldritch Miyuki team. Maybe one day that may happen. But until then though, I don't see the skill being super great. It's a 30% chance of activating. It's 20 seconds. It's... <laughs> it's nice, but it's like whatever though. Overall, meh, I've seen better ships. So, right, 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 right. Let's go ahead and rank these ships. So, let's talk about them, guys. Starting with Musashi, the big girl here. Definitely the star of the banner. No questions asked. Easily the strongest battleship in this game. Because of raw firepower, that barrage is ridiculous. The only issue with this barrage is that you have to crit for the ma massive damage. And 50% uh, crit rate isn't 100%. So New Jersey has 100%, but she doesn't. But if you crit, it's going to hit super hard. So if you're a reset gamer for whatever reason, 
she's definitely a stronger damage dealer than New Jersey. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, the, her biggest drawback is going to be the anti-air and the reload. We're going to have to do some testing with her, but raw firepower, the high crit rate, the high crit damage, definitely is a good ship. And she has a guardian detection or a guardian buff or whatever for campaign players like World 10, World 14. Definitely good there. Solid self buff. Can't say anything wrong with this ship. Uh, anti air and reload are are big downfalls, but there are ways to work around it. You're gonna have to use a weaker gun on her, like the Izumo gun, the PR1 gun, because the Yamato class gun is very slow on her. But again, that barrage has some massive, massive firepower behind it. It's really, really hard. So it's hard to say no to the ship, guys. It's really hard to say no to the ship. So if they ever add a fast IJN battleship gun that's that's pretty strong, she's just going to get stronger. She's just going to get stronger because as of right now, Easy Mode's gun is nowhere near the best AP gun. But even Musashi can make Easy Mode's gun look way better. At this point, guys... Izumo's gun might as well be called Musashi's gun because pretty much no one uses Izumo and a lot of people are going to use Musashi now. I say we should peti petition to call, do, to call the Izumo gun Musashi's gun. I said it. I'm going to petition it right now, guys. Petition to make the PR1, the, Mus the Izumo gun, the Musashi's gun. You might as well at this point, right, guys? So very, very good ship. Top tier by all means. Everyone has to get this ship. It is a must-have. Sakawa, now this ship here, I do see her being pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. The only issue is that if you have a lot of options available, then she kind of looks like kind of like a whatever ship for the most part because light cruisers, there are so many light cruisers in this game right now that can do what she does, if not better, especially specifically this, the PR ones. But I don't think her kit is that bad though. Definitely a campaign ship by all means. Event farming as well too. Bossing wise, definitely no. But if you're a new player, you're locking a lot of ships. This is definitely a good ship to take with you as a new player. Definitely, 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 really good ship there. Uh, Suki, not Suki. Wakasuki, definitely go with her sister Suzuki if you have both of them. There you go. There's your van card setup. So so good. Otherwise, as a standalone, definitely not a bad one. She is meant for World 14 as well too. Overall hybrid. Torpedo and fire power damage dealer, just like her sister Suzuki. So, if you know what Suzuki does, Wakasuki is no different. So, if you can run both of them together, that's great. There you go. Solid options, solid options. Miyuki, a regular DD, has an interesting evasion skill, but 30%. And the fact that she doesn't do much aside from tor torpedoing, it makes her kind of like a whatever ship. Haguro, heavy cruiser, can be nice for, ne for new players, but again, you gotta hit, gotta get hit ten times, and if you're a new player, you probably don't have the funding to keep a ship alive that well. So taking damage ten times may be detrimental to you if you don't have sustain. Definitely invest into like a healer, like an Akashi, a uh, Vestal, or a Unicorn if you're lacking a lot of healer ships, because if you want to get the max value out of follow the trends skill, you're gonna have to take damage. All right, guys. So the takeaway of this banner, the must-haves of this banner. Musashi is definitely the must-have. I will put her even above must-have. She is definitely a ship you have to have to get. Don't miss out. I'm pretty sure I made it very obvious with the multiple numerous videos I've made for this ship or for this band for this event. You have to get this ship. You have to, you have to, you have to. It, it is mandatory that everyone get this ship. It is so good, it'll make your life much easier no matter what content you're doing. Story, OS. Meta 15s, Arbiter fights. It doesn't matter what content you're doing. It's, it's going to make your life much easier. Maybe PvP. I don't, I don't even know how she's good in PvP. But she could be good in PvP as well too. Who knows? Slow reload. Kind, kind of doubt it. But she could be good there. Who knows? But anywhere else on PvE. Definitely, definitely good. It is the queen option right here. Queen, queen option. Now, the next options are going to be the Knights to have. Sakawa. And Wakasuki are nice to have because they're both SSR. They're both good at what they do. And they pretty much will get you through a campaign for the most part, especially if you're a new player. So if you guys want to do that, by all means, go for it. Um, Haguro and um, 
Miyuki. Well, actually, no. I talked about. I didn't talk about it too much. But Sakawa, good option. Wakasuki, both good options. If you can get both of them, that's great. Again, and Miyuki and Hagura. If you guys don't have better options, get them. And use them. By all means, I think there's way better options out there, especially for free players, because like there's better tanks out there and stuff like that. But they're not bad options for sure. So. I believe that's it for this banner. A really, really good banner for obviously the main reason why Musashi right here. Definitely, definitely don't miss this ship, guys. Definitely don't miss this ship. So that is it for this video. I have way more videos to make about Musashi, so stay tuned to that. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, feel free to comment below if you have questions or things. I'm uh, Kimo, you, uh, you have to say this properly or whatever, then go for it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next video, guys. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next one.